sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. Have you ever ran into the problem that will show the DC spike when using an RTL SDR software? Uh, depending on maybe what RTL that you're using. So right now I have the uh, NoElect uh, Nestar plugged in, the NESDR, the yellow one, plugged in. And as you can see, we have a uh, DC spike right here. And it doesn't matter what frequency we go to, it's still there. So we want to get rid of that. And uh, this is pretty simple to do. So if we click on the little gear here, all we need to do is click on offset tuning. And that will eliminate the spike if you're using an RTL that is showing the DC spike here. Just click that and that will eliminate that problem. Now, not all RTLs you need to do that with, which I'm sure you know. Let's move on to another one here, to another software. All right, so same thing with the uh, SDR++. If we fire it up, as you can see, we have the uh, DC spike once again over here under our source if we click on the offset tuning like we just did in SDR chart that will get rid of the spike but we still have this line here that's an issue so in order to clear that up we need to use the IQ correction so we uncheck that we get the spike but if we also uncheck it, as you can see there, the signal drops a little bit, but it's still there. So we have to check both on this software here to eliminate the spike. If we go over to HDSDR, you may or may not run into this problem. See, like right now, it's not showing the spike. But if you do need to fix it with HDSDR, go to Options, Calibration Settings, DC Removal, and you may have to select this to Auto depending on what it is set on. Then click OK and restart the... Uh, HDSDR to uh, see if that fixed the problem. Other than that, that is how you can eliminate the DC spike in a couple different uh, pieces of software. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another. <laughs>